Here you are. Please, you help me take Nancy to school today. But it's your turn to drop out school today. Baby, I know. But I have this important meeting I wouldn't want to lose and it's around 8. Please just help me. Sweet, you keep doing this. I think it's time we get a driver for our school runs. A driver? Yes. No, no. Baby, I, I don't want my child to be with a stranger. I wouldn't want anything to happen to her. Please, just, just for today. It's okay. It's okay. Just for today. Yes, just for today. <laughs> Thank you. Baby, give me five now. You told to take me to school this week. Sweetheart, I am sorry. I have an important meeting to attend. I can't miss it for anything. I can't wait. Thank Bye. you, baby. Seventeenth of this month. Wow. It's okay. I will ask my secretary to check my schedule for that day. Dad, I want you and mom to come. Other parents should be there to cheer for their children, and I'm the first speaker of my team. Yeah, we will try. But have you told your mom about it? Yes, I have. And she said the same thing. Look, Daddy, I don't want you to try. Just assure me. It's okay, we'll be there. Really? Yeah. Oh, thank you, Daddy. this late? Mary! Mary! Good evening, and what is this nonsense? Why is she eating this late? But she... She what? She what? How many times have I told you not to serve her dinner late? You are sorry what? I'm asking a question. How many times have I told you that? Thank you, Stanley. And so what is happening? Um, Mom, Mom, it's not her fault. She actually called me by 7 p.m. to come and have my dinner, but I wasn't No, it is her duty to make sure that you eat early. What is this? It's your food, baby. Mary, let this be the first and last time. This nonsense will repeat itself. Do you understand? Serve me my dinner. And you eat. Mary, thanks for the food. Thank God. Um, Auntie Mary, yeah? I'm sorry, Mom, yeah, that you're okay. It's okay. Is there something you, you would want me to help you with? Are you sure you want to help me? Yeah. Okay, go wash your plate while I serve your mom her dinner.
Good morning. Hey, please. Just, we need to leave. What, Mom? I'm saying it. Uh, baby, please, just take your backpack. We need to leave. No, please. Let me just finish this food. Oh, My dear, if I leave you here, it is possible that you might miss school. I have a tight schedule today. Nancy forgot her lunch money on the dining table. I love you to that one. Madam got out of junction since. I beg now. What will Nancy eat today in school? I'm not going for you to run and go. In fact, you can and go give up for school. You know it's not possible. They won't allow me inside the school. And it's also not possible here. Yeah. Because my job now to open and close. Not be to come and run for road. <sighs> Why madam could they behave like this? Where you come out, Joe? I should run for you. Sir, please, Nancy forgot her money for lunch. Can you help me drop it to her? Where were you when she left? I was inside the kitchen. I was busy when it's I was. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. Let me have it. Honey, good evening. You're still up. Why were you not picking my calls? You called? Ten missed calls, baby. I am so sorry. My phone was on silence. So I was in a board meeting. That was why. I'm sorry. I see. Honey, I am sorry. Baby. Baby. Good morning. Good morning. I'm set for work. Ah, already? Mm-hmm. It's okay. All right, you take care. You have a nice day. Thank you. Come here. <laughs> Baby, I will saw your lips. Mm, don't worry. Mm. Thank you, love. Take care. See okay. You. And um, you look good. Thank you. <laughs> Already. Oh yes, I am. Okay, mom. There's something I want to talk to you about. <laughs> Baby, can we do this in the evening when I'm back from work? But mom, it's important. Please just pay me ten minutes of your time. Just ten minutes. Um, my love, I really have something important to do in the office. Okay, please, we'll do this once I get back home in the evening. All right. Your daddy will drop you off. Mm, I love you. Finish up your meal, okay? Bye. Fine, Daddy. 
And you? Okay. Daddy, mommy said you dropped me at school today. Really? What time is it? Um, it's 7.30. What? 7.30? Oh my goodness. I have an important meeting with a client by 8 a.m. I'm okay, scared. Daddy. I'll be waiting downstairs. All right, all right. My baby. Yes, Daddy. I won't meet my appointment if I take you to school. So we skip school for today. Again? Yes. You say I'm already running late and I don't want to miss this appointment for any reasons at all. Okay? I love you. I promise you, you won't miss school tomorrow, next tomorrow, next week, next month. Okay? Yes. And why is your face like that? What happened? Dad said he can drop me off at school today. <sighs> Dad should skip school. Uh, not again. Why? Why are my parents doing this to me? All they care is about their work. They don't care about me. Not so. Your parents care about <laughs> you. Maybe they're just showing it the wrong way. No. This is not fair. I'm their child. I, I deserve the attention. <laughs> Please, can you take me to school? Nancy, no. Nancy, you know the rules. Your parents forbid me from taking you to school in a public bus. Then order an Oba. I have some money with me. I will pay. Please. Please, Auntie Mary. I can't afford to miss school today. I have a series of tests. Now see, your parents will be very mad at me if they get to find out that I took you to school. I no. can't. They won't find out. My school closes before they return from work, or you can even come and pick me earlier. Are you sure about this? Okay, there's no problem. I need to get you. You know I cannot go to your school with this one. Okay. I'll be waiting. Okay. Okay, Okay. Good morning. We are fine. Open gate. I won't carry Nancy go to school. Make an open gate for you. If I say don't get job for another place, so. I, I be know that they still will get Madam talk. I know what they said, but Nancy have tests to write today in school. <laughs> eh. Hey. So because of Nancy, I will go back to village. My village people go not laugh at me. Abby, I'm not ready to lose my job. Bro. I'm not opening this gate. Uncle Jonas, please, please. If I fail this test, my result is going to be very, very bad. Please. Or oh, oh, do you want me to fail? I don't even know how to tell this guy no again. This kind of face. But you better say you lose this test and fail this exam. That's how I lose my job, go back village. They're gonna laugh at me. No. Oh. Uncle Jonas, okay, don't worry. Auntie Mary will pick me before mommy and daddy results from work. Please, please, Uncle Jonas, please. You are trying to use your face and deceive me. Oh. Okay, on the condition, say you go there, there with her. You should write finish, you carry her come back. You agree? I agree. Go open gate. I don't want to be the champion again. Go open gate. 
Donc j'ai une dame mûre. Tu sais Yes, baby. Good evening, mommy. Good evening, darling. How are you today? I'm fine. And how is school? Daddy didn't take me to school. I'm sorry, baby, okay? Tomorrow. Oh, mom, mom, please, can you sit? You said you would give me audience once you return from work. Uh, baby, I am tired. I had a hectic day at work today, and once I get upstairs, I have plenty of paperwork to do. And tomorrow, first thing in the morning, I'm traveling to Abuja. Abuja? Yes, baby, our foreign investors came in today, and we have to meet them tomorrow. But you don't need to worry yourself, it's just for four days. Four days? Yes, baby. Four days is, you know. But daddy will take you to school and I'll make sure Auntie Mary takes good care of you. All right? Come on, smile for me. Mm, I love you. Baby. Honey. Yes, baby. You can't travel tomorrow. Baby, why? You just got back from Ghana, and I have a very tight schedule this week. Who will take Nancy to school? Well, you can do that. All you have to do is wake up very early every day and then take her to school. Baby, it's not all about waking up early. The point I'm trying to make is Nancy's school is far from my office. Then call her school. Call her school and tell them that she wouldn't be coming to school till Monday. <laughs> Baby, I can't miss this seminar for anything, please. Honey, Nancy has missed a lot this time already. What we are doing to that girl is not good. Call Kevin to help out, okay? How can Kevin help in this situation? That young man is going through a heartbreak. He could be mentally unstable. If he's going through a heartbreak, that is the more reason why he needs to come here. At least engaging in Nancy's school activities and other things will help him. Don't you think so? I think that's a good idea. In that case, let me give him a call. All right, please do. So I need you to make sure, make sure Nancy fits well. And make sure she goes to bed early. Okay, ma'am, I will. Yes. And Kelvin will be coming in before the weekend. So clean everywhere, especially the rooms. All right? Okay, ma'am. Right. Um, ma'am, how long will you be staying in Abuja? Four days. Four days at most. Yes. And I'm going to transfer some money into your account so that you get groceries for the house. Okay, ma'am. All right, please help me. Oh. My princess. Yes, Daddy. Your uncle will be coming to the house this evening. Uncle James? No. Kelvin. You see, he will be going for his NYSE service very soon, so he will be the one taking you to school while mom and I work. But Dad, why not Uncle James? James is busy with work, okay? Uncle Kelvin is so strict. The last time he came, he didn't allow me to eat some things. He said they are not good for my heart. My princess, you see, Kelvin is a medical student. I'm sure he was only trying to watch out for your health. Nothing more. I'm not going to let him invent my football this time around. I'm a teenager. I've had you, auntie teenager. <laughs> my princess, <Yeah>. you're very <laughs> funny. <laughs> uh, so tell me, how was school uh, yesterday? It was fine. Oh, it's right. stressful though. As usual, soon you get over it. Sure. And you'll be in the uh, university. 
This one for me. Mm -hmm. ah, I mean, they give you this kind of money. Do you want to use me? <laughs> Jonas. Can, can I help you now? No, no, no. It's okay. I can no, handle it. I help you. Don't worry. <laughs> hey! I got Kevin with this kind of money. I'm shooting down the club this night. I'll just enter. DJ go play me. Dorime. Dorime. Wamuku. Bwame. Make sure you finish your food. I'll try. I don't want you to try. I want you to finish it. Okay, ma. Oh, I give it out. 
Nasa, I'm not joking with you. You do a lot of brain work and you need enough food in your system. Oh, you're beginning to sound like Uncle Kelvin. Madam, finish your food. Okay, ma'am. Hey, kid. Okay, Kelvin, good morning. Morning, kid. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, I'm gonna need you to hurry up with that so I can drop you off at school, okay? It's already okay. 7.30. Alright, I will. Alright. Jonas! Uh, that yeah. Good morning, sir. How are you? Hi, sir. Um, can you watch this car immediately? I need to take Nancy to school with it, okay? This one? Yeah. Ah, okay. But I said I can watch this one, no? Uh, no, no, no. She's almost done with her breakfast. I need to leave with it now. You can get that one later. Okay, sir. Okay, okay. Hurry up, okay? Okay. But my love, what do you mean you're not sure of coming back tomorrow? My love, this is not our agreement. You were supposed to come back tomorrow because I have a business meeting at Otakot next tomorrow. No, they changed the date. Honey, you know how important this deal is to me. Please, I don't want to miss it for any reason. Please. It's okay. So, hope you're good. Sweet. You keep stressing yourself too much. Go get something to eat and then take a nap. Okay? You need it. But do not be firewood. Please. All right, sweet. You take care of yourself. I love you. I love you too. So, how was school today? School was fine. Are you in uh, arts or science class? Art class. <laughs> Why? Because I love art. I want to study literature and become an author like grandma. Right. Look, art is for lazy people. There is nothing serious about art students. Uncle, you're only saying this because you did science. <laughs> Look, science is life. Science is literally everything, okay? Uh -huh. Okay now. Grandma is not lazy. I mean, she is one of the respected and influential authors we have in this country. No doubt, but... No but. I want to become an author like grandma. And a good uncle who wants his niece to be happy will always support her. Are you trying to blackmail me emotionally? What? I'm not. Alright, fine. Let's just go. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Joy's stay in Abuja has been extended and I will be travelling to Port Harcourt tomorrow morning for a business meeting. Right. Okay. So I want you to please take good care of my baby. You know I'll always do that. Definitely. Good. Dad, you could? Yes, I did. Come. You see? I will be traveling tomorrow to Port Harcourt for a business meeting. Okay, so you will leave when mom returns, right? About mom, her stay in Abuja has been extended. She won't be coming back tomorrow. Why? Because the deal she went for has not been completed. So there's no need for her coming back. <laughs> mom is not coming back tomorrow. And you're traveling. Exactly. Why? Why do you always do this to me? The both of you are always traveling. Why? Nancy, what your mom and I are doing is for you to have a stress-free future so that you won't struggle when you grow up. Look, Dad. Everything you do, you do it for yourselves. Because I had rather struggle when I grow up and have my parents around me now. A 
Excuse me, Dad. Hey, my princess. Nancy. Let her go. Uh, that was nothing new. She's always like that each time I'm on my line traveling. I see. Kevin, can't see my Take care of her. Don't worry. I'm gonna take good care of her, okay? Trust you. Is my baby crying? <laughs> no. You're lying. I understand how you feel. No, you don't. Actually, I do. You see, when we were kids, our parents used to travel all the time too. Sometimes weeks, months, and they just hand us over to the housekeepers. It was quite pathetic, really. It was so annoying, we started exchanging harsh words with them and everything, but my point is, in the end, nothing really changed. We just had to adapt to it. You're three. Three. You had each other, but it's just me. Sometimes I just feel like running away. I need my parents, especially my mother, Amiko. Okay. Shh, 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 shh. It's okay. <laughs> Come here. It's okay. Look, you know you can tell me anything and everything, okay? Besides, you do remember I'm a doctor, right? Hey, I'm never gonna let anything happen to you. I promise. I'm so sorry. Come here. Good morning, Uncle Kevin. Good morning, Dad. Yeah, good morning, dear. How are you? I'm fine. How is my princess doing this morning? I'm fine. Are you still angry with that? Okay, listen, my baby. I promise by the time I return from Port Harcourt, I am going to spend some quality time with you. I will be the one taking you to school and bring you back. No travels, no coming back home late. Uncle Kevin, let's go. Come on, baby, that's not fair. Your dad is talking to you. This is not the first time he's making such promises. I promise to keep to my word this time. Mm. Okay, so let's go. So, uh, baby, we're gonna drop daddy at the airport before taking you to school, okay? I don't want to fly to the airport. Take me to school first. Why? Well, it's alright. It's all right. Let's drop out first. Let's go. Okay. Insist. everyone mama I'm fine no yes so the city is fine we are all fine he's coming back to carry his people down to South Africa ma me are you sure he want me to follow them back to South Africa hey mama me Mary going to South Africa 
Mama, Mama, don't worry, don't worry. I will call my madam now, now, now. Mama, I'm coming back tomorrow. No, not next tomorrow. I'm coming back tomorrow, Mama. Okay, Mama. Okay. <laughs> Hi! I'm going to South Africa. Me, Mary, South Africa. Stay one place. Nancy must hear this. Hey! Mary is going to South Africa! Auntie Mary, please. Please don't go. Please don't leave me here. Just stay with me, please. Now see, I wish I can stay back. This is an opportunity that will change my life for good. Mr. Lambert is our church member. Him and his wife love our family so much. The wife has always wanted me to live with them, but I denied the offer because I don't want to stay close to my family. And now, an opportunity has offered itself for me to travel down to South Africa with them. Nancy, I can't turn down this offer. I can't. Look at Mary. I know that this might change your life, but what about me? Who would take care of me? Who would cook for me? Who would do my laundry? Who would take care of me? Who would keep me company? Please don't go into me. Please don't leave me. I see you'll be fine. Your uncle is here to take care of you. And don't forget, he's a good cook. And your parents will be back soon. I don't want Uncle Kevin to take care of me. I want you. I want you to do that, please. <laughs> Please don't leave. Nancy. Please. <laughs> please. I will always call to check up on you. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Okay. Baby. What is it? Kevin, please beg Auntie Mary not to leave. Look, kid, Mary got an opportunity that that doesn't come easy, okay? And there's no way she's gonna pass down that opportunity. I know you will miss her, but I promise I'm going to be here to take care of you. I don't want her to go. She's my best friend. Understand, but you see, in life, sometimes we have to let go of the people we love most so that they can be happy. Besides, if she misses that opportunity, she would never forgive you. She wouldn't even like anything going on around here anymore. So, do you want that to happen? No. Yeah. Good. Then support her. It's not going to be easy. I know. But I promise. I'll take care of you, okay? Everything is gonna be okay. Mary? Huh? So don't get divorced like this. You don't say I'm such his life. Hi. It's life, no balance. Hi, child. Too nice to cry. Stop, baby. Oh. Stop crying. Mm. You cry, you're going to make me cry. I'll miss you too. Don't worry, I will always check up on you, okay? I won't cry. I won't cry. I won't cry. It's okay. Stop crying. Oh. You're to make me cry. Open gate. Don't say I did too emotional. I can't go. Hi.
Baby. Food is ready. You haven't had anything to eat since Mary left. I'm not hungry. Look, I'm not buying that, okay? So please, let's just go in and have something to eat. Please. Uncle Kevin, please. I'm not hungry. I don't want anything. Look, you're going to make me carry it myself now. Let's go in and have something to eat. Look, your parents will not be happy if I let you starve, okay? So please, let's go in. Don't make me carry you. Come on. I'm serious. Man. Come on. Mm. Baby, please eat your food. Uncle, I told you I'm not hungry. Look, stabbing yourself is not going to make Mary come back. She is gone. Oh, please, not with the tears again. Come on. <laughs> still here for you and I'm always gonna be here. Hmm? Stop crying, okay? Let me feed you. Come here. Sorry. Here. Hey kiddo, are you okay? No, I'm feeling feverish. Oh my god, you're burning up. Look, you're gonna be fine, okay? Let me quickly go and get you something to eat so you can take your drugs. Just, I'll be right back. Now, so once she's done eating, she'll take her drugs. I think she misses Mary, but she's gonna be okay. Yeah, so um, when is Joyce coming back? Okay. Anyway, so how are things going over there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright man, it's all good. Um, let me call you later then. Hmm? Alright, safe. Get up so you can get something to eat. Come here. I don't want to eat. Come on, get up. Please, you need to eat something so you can take your drugs. Come on, get up. I'll feed you myself. Come here. Come on. Sorry, just take it easy. I'll go get up blankets later so you can cover up, okay? Sorry, come here. Here. 
Here. Just take a sip gently. There you go. Hello, mother. Mommy, please come back. Please come back tomorrow. I miss you and daddy. feeling dizzy and I also feel different. I can't just explain it. Okay, it must be a side effect of the medicine you took. You know what? Just go upstairs and lie down. I'll get breakfast soon, okay? Mm -hmm. Hmm? Thank, you. Thank you. I'll be there shortly. Madam, welcome. Thank you. Please help me with the bag. I made vegetable soup, I made banga soup, it's your choice. <laughs> <laughs> wow, really? Mm -hmm. You did all that? Of course, don't you trust me? <laughs> I do trust you. That means you and Nancy, you guys have been enjoying yourselves. Oh well, you can say that. So, what are you going for? Um, I'll do white rice and banga. Okay, let me just uh, boil the rice. You could change up or something, yeah? Thank you. Alright, welcome. Okay, all right. <laughs> oh, God. Nancy! Woo! Oh, baby! Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, <mommy. sighs> I wasn't expecting you to tomorrow. I know, but I had to come back for you. I left other things for my team to handle. <sighs> I missed you so much, mommy. <laughs> I missed you too, my baby. All right, guess what? What, mommy? Daddy said he's coming back tomorrow. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. How are you feeling? I'm better now. I'm fine. I, I wanted to go to school today, but Uncle Kevin said I shouldn't go. I'm not fit yet. Uncle Kevin is a doctor here, not so? Yeah. So if he says you're not fit, you are not fit. <laughs> yeah. Have you eaten? Yes, I have. <laughs> oh, mommy. <laughs> I'm so happy about I am so happy too, my darling. <laughs> all right, it's okay. Let's not get all emotional. Okay, you go to my room with me, and then you gist me, you tell me everything that has been happening while I was away. I will, I will. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my love. Oh, God. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Hmm. Okay. Just me, what has been happening? Mom, Uncle Kevin has been so, so awesome. He yeah. cleans the house, he prepares different me, he even does my laundry. <laughs> <laughs> he does your laundry? Yes, he does. He's been so sweet. Yes. When I Mary left, I, I thought I wasn't going to survive it. But Uncle Kevin made sure I lacked nothing. Yes, he even fits me when I refuse to wait. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. He fits you. Yes, I I never knew he's this caring. Mm. I used to think Uncle James is a caring one. Hmm. You see, my dear, sometimes responsibilities can change someone. You know, I was really worried when Mary called and said she was leaving. I was really worried about you. But then, Kelvin assured me that he was going to take good care of you. I was relaxed. He is such an angel. Yes. I don't know how to say thank you to him. Ah, well, you have to, anyhow. Right? I, <laughs> yes. will. I will. So, mommy, hope you're not traveling anytime soon. Um, baby, I don't really know, you know, <sighs> but for now, I am here. Not so. Thank you. Thank you, Let's talk about now. So what did you get for me? Oh, well done. <laughs> okay. I know you're going to that bag, yes. but just relax. Yes. Um, baby, I did not get anything. I am sorry. Please. I was hurrying to get to you. It, it was because I was in a hurry. I'm sorry, but I promise you, once I am done resting, we'll go shopping. <gasps> Really? Yes, you pick anything you want. Oh, thank you, mommy. Thank you, baby. <laughs> okay, I'll leave you to rest, okay? All right. Bye, mommy. Bye. Love you. Love you. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, gosh. Oh. Man. Ah. Hi, honey. Good afternoon. I am fine. <laughs> Nancy is fine. I met her in good health. Mm, Kelvin actually did well. Mm -hmm. He really took good care of her. Yes, um, I called Rose and she said that she'll be bringing someone to me. Mm -hmm. Okay, I cannot wait to see you. Mm -hmm. All right, love you. Oh, I said love you already. to say thank you you know my daughter told me everything how you've been taking care of her mm. Kelvin I don't really know what to do to say thank you or how to express my gratitude it's okay uh, we're family right family takes care of each other yes very correct I've actually asked my friend to get me a house help so she'll be coming anytime soon you don't really need to bother yourself about the house chairs again. <laughs> I'm not complaining. Yes, you are not complaining. But Kelvin, you are a doctor and not a house help. 
I am going to send some money to your account so you can get anything you want, whatever it is you desire you can get. You know, I wanted to get something but I just didn't know what to get. Are you trying to pay me indirectly? No. No, 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 no. I am not trying to do that. I am only saying thank you. I am grateful. Hey, how are you? I'm fine. Okay. What's that? Your night medication, of course. But I feel better now. I know you feel better, but you have to complete the dosage so the drugs can work, okay? <sighs> Just hold on to this. I know you don't like drugs, but you just have to. Okay? Here. But you have so much. It's just... Just a few more days. <clears throat> when am I going to finish this medication, please? That would be uh, next tomorrow. Oh, that's long. I know. Don't worry, you'll be fine, okay? I uh, didn't even get some anything to drink after taking the medication. Get some rest. You good? Good night. Yeah, I'm fine. Alright, good night. How are you? I'm fine. Welcome, Daddy. Mm, I see Uncle Kevin has been taking good care of you. Yes. He's even about to make me this for me. Oh, really? That's good. <laughs> You're looking good. Mm, mm, I'm really happy to see you. <laughs> so, um, take my luggage. Okay, into Daddy. The house. So, Kevin. Hey, man. How are you? I see Nancy has turned you to a full nanny. Yeah, you can say that again. Anyway, how's your flight? Smooth, I thank God. So where is Jonas? I sent him out to get me something. Oh really, because I was wondering why the gate is open. Yeah, you know, I was actually waiting for your call, so I'll come get you from the airport. Nah, but I had to take a cab. Don't want to disturb you, I've stressed you enough. I don't remember complaining. Doesn't matter, it's not about complaining, it's all about having a conscience. So, I need to go have a shower. Yeah, let's head on. Yeah. I'll give you your favorite. Aha. Darling. Yes, honey. <sighs> Has Nancy gone to bed? Yes. She actually slept on my lap and Kelvin took her inside. Oh, good. Baby, you hmm? were saying something over the phone. I said a lot of things. Which one in particular? Hmm. <laughs> hey kid. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Oh my god, sit up. Sit up. Sorry. How do you feel? I'll give you your drugs so that it will stop the pain. What uncle? Why does my stomach hurt this much? Sorry, it's because of the menstruation. You see, some ladies experience a lot of pain on their period. I'm so sorry. This pain is just so much. I know, kiddo, but don't worry. This will stop the pain, okay? <sighs> Let me just get you this. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Here, drink up. Here, drink up. So 
to just uh, try and get some rest, okay? Hmm? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh no. I, I... Are you really sure she's going to be fine? Of course, menstrual pain is a normal thing for some girls. She's going to be okay. During my own, like, I have not experienced this kind of menstrual pain. The pain is so much. I just wish that my daughter was going to be like me. Oh, uh, the thing is, we all have different hormones, so it affects everyone differently. Or oh, should we take her to the hospital? <laughs> Bro, I'm a doctor. Relax. Okay, she's gonna be okay. Besides, it's just a minor case. Honey, please. I need to go check on my daughter. Are you sure? I mean, it's not necessary. She's she's gonna be okay. Yeah, it's very necessary. Okay. Don't worry. Doctor will talk to you shortly, okay? Okay. Doctor. Doctor. <clears throat> Ms. Johnson, you have to calm down. Um, can I see you both in my office? Can we discuss in my office? It's okay. Yes. Please, sir, can you excuse us? Um, doctor. He's my brother. My kid brother. He's also a doctor. He just rounded up his internship a few months ago. Oh, I see. Uh, but no disrespect meant. I insist on talking with you and your wife alone. Kelvin, excuse us. All right, bye. So, <laughs> how is that? Um, what I'm about to say will shock you both. Your daughter had an abortion. What? What? Doctor, what, what are you saying? Abortion? This. Um, doctor, doctor, is is this a joke or something? Nancy is just 14 years old and she doesn't go out of the house. So how come? Yes, of course, she does not go out of the house. So there is no possible way that she'll be pregnant, let alone abortion. The bleeding is as a result of the abortion. She has an uterian injury. And if proper care is not taken, she may not survive it. Her uterus was badly damaged as a result of the drug she took and we need to remove it immediately. Doctor, I don't understand. How can this be possible, Doctor? How can this be possible? Nancy and abortion? From where? How? Um, doctor, please. I want you to do everything in your power to save our daughter's life. Please, I beg you. We are going to do our best. But you have to find out how this happened. We also find sleeping pills in her system. Sleeping pills? Yes. I am going to kill you! Kelvin! No, 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 no. Kelvin! What 
is wrong with Who? you? What did I do to you? What did my family do to you? I left my daughter in your care. I trusted you. I and your brother trusted you so much. That is you. That was your sorry, thing. I'm sorry. I just, I just, what is, I, I, what I, do you I'm mean so that you just got? Please, I advise you to invite the police. Allow the Lord to take his due course. If you kill him, you both will go to jail. Besides, your daughter needs you now more than ever. No. You listen to me. Since you were so heartless, I left my daughter under your care. Because she is your own blood, your niece, my own daughter. Yet, you were so heartless to put her life in danger. I promise you, Kelvin, I will also be ruthless to make sure you spend the rest of your miserable life in jail. I will make sure you never see the lights of the day again. I'm sorry, I don't know what happened. I, I just, you just got too close. I don't know what happened. I didn't mean to. I swear, I'm sorry. You got too close. You got too close. Are you mad? You got too close. I know since very long, no one has been so close to me. I just got lonely. I just... Shut up! <laughs> Stop her. She will soon regain consciousness. And I advise you don't tell her what happened until she's strong. Okay. Oh, no. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. I appreciate it. No problem. She's a strong girl. She fought to live. She will be fine, okay? Appreciate it. I beg to take my leave. Okay, Doctor. Don't touch her. She's asleep. She'll be fine. Okay? Okay. Did I do? My love, you're still here crying. Don't you think we should go to the hospital? This is all our fault. How can I not remember that I have a child? A girl for that matter. Countless times she tried to talk to me but I did not give her any listening ears. She begged me even for 10 minutes. What is 10 minutes that I could not give my own child? My own daughter. Oh, I messed up. See, if I had done the right thing as a parent would do, Kelvin would not have been here. We would be saying this. All this would not have happened. Listen. I... I feel terrible and guilty too. I mean... I never knew Kelvin could do such a thing to his own niece, to our daughter. And to make matters worse, he gave her an abortion pills after finding out our daughter was pregnant. Our carelessness would have cost us the life of our only daughter. My daughter is innocent. My baby is innocent. How am I going to tell her that she would be able to give birth later? I messed up, God, please. It's okay. I'm all going to be. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Stop crying. It's okay. Stop crying. Okay. I've been there waiting for her. I said, I know how. Mercy, but did they know? She'll be fine. 
Uh, but okay, what thing Dr. Tuck said to her? Jonas, please open the gate. She'll be fine. It's a good practice. Did the daughter tell you what happened to me? My love, the most important thing right now is for you to get better. <sighs> Uncle Kevin said it's menstrual pain. So why was I operated on cause of menstrual pain? Honey, you, you just need to stop asking plenty questions and focus on getting better. It is very important you get better. Okay. Uh, where is Uncle Kelvin? Uh, uh, he has returned to our car. What? Yes. Why? Honey, I need to receive this call. Be right back. Okay. Mom. Yes? Why do I have the feelings that you and Dad are hiding something from me? Hide? No, baby, we're not hiding anything from you. I am just so happy that you're better. What would I have done if something had happened to you? Nothing will happen to me. Amen. Amen, Amen baby. Amen. 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 Mom, please, mom, please. Please, mom, I beg you in the name of God. I should what? I should remember Kelvin is my brother? Oh, mom, don't tell me that. Spare me that, mom. What was he thinking? Didn't he know I am his brother before he raped my own daughter, his own niece, his blood for crying out loud, mom? Now, mom, listen. Kelvin did not just rape my daughter. He gave her an abortion pill that made her lose her womb. Mom. I am going to make sure Kelvin spent the rest of his life in prison with hard labor. And the earlier you realize you have just lost a son, the better for you, mom. I'm done. Doctor, my daughter is beginning to ask too many questions. Nancy is a very smart girl. Sooner or later, she will find that we are hiding something from her. We have to continue lying to her. If she finds out the truth, she may be traumatized. And this will affect her psychologically. In other words, she may hurt herself. So the best thing we can do for now is to concentrate on getting her better. I understand, doctor. It's okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. So how long will she be staying here? A month or thereabouts. But even if she leaves the hospital, we need to keep her under close observation for like six months to make sure that she's perfectly okay. It's okay. Thank you so much. Maybe no, I am not. No, you're crying. I've told you to stop crying and fine. I know you are a strong girl. Mommy. Yes. Is you something I should do? Please stop doing this. I mean, since Uncle Kelvin left, he has no call to check on me. Is something wrong? There is nothing wrong, you know. NYSC camp, he's he's just trying to fit in. 
But I am sure he will call you soon. Okay. I miss you. Baby. Yes, you need to rest now. It's okay. Yes. I can love you. I can let mommy. Can I know? Honey, this is difficult. Uh, it is difficult hiding that beast that almost made Nancy lose her life. What's of it all is that she said she misses him. The doctor said we have to continue lying to her for now. Because the truth will traumatize her. And it might affect her psychologically and that is not what we want for her. It is really difficult. It's difficult. I understand. But we don't have another choice. We don't have another choice. For now, let it be her unknown scar. We will tell her at the right time. If you say so, so how is the court case going? Is Nancy going to appear in court? No, no, no. Barrister James assured me all he needs is the medical report and for the doctor to confirm them. Okay, that's relieving. Listen, my love. Everything will be fine, okay? All we have to do now is to be strong for our baby. Okay? okay. Come here. Nancy, don't come back. Nancy, how are you doing now? I'm fine now. She didn't come and visit me in the hospital. I for come, oh. but I don't know how to the hospital. You love your work, so why are you quitting? I love my work, but not as much as I love my family. I love you. So, no more house helps, just you, myself, and daddy. Thank you so much, mommy. Thank you, baby. I love you. I love you too, mommy. <laughs> Dad, are you quitting your job too? <laughs> I saw that coming. <laughs> Well, no, but as the boss, as the CEO, I am going to allow my managers to handle some things while I spend some quality time with my family. <laughs> this is all I have ever wanted. I know. I'm so happy. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Thank you my love. 